And so to start out, I kind of want to talk about some simple things like the scientific method. Now, hopefully you've learned about the scientific method all the way back in grade school. And you know, in simple terms, you have a question, you ask a question, you form a hypothesis, you test that hypothesis, you draw some conclusions from your testing, and then the most important step is to reevaluate, retest. For example, if the hypothesis that you formed for your question was completely wrong, well, maybe you take some of that new information, redesign your study, get a better idea for what might affect the conditions of this study, and retest and retest, duplicate your experiments. I wanted to talk about the word significant. This is a big thing in science. Now, a lot of times when you'll hear people, you know, of course, outside of science, it's okay for words to have different definitions in and out of science. The word significant can just mean big or noteworthy or, you know, I saw a significant difference in this or this was a significant finding. Those are maybe some 